welcome to On The Chain. Well, look at this, Jeff. Have you heard about this? This just took us by surprise. Check this out. Love Monster, XRP-based play-to-earn game set to launch on mobile in Q2. Nice. Right? Look uh, at if, that. If Love it's Monster. on the XRP ledger and it's uh, using some XRP. Look at this. That'd be cool. Yeah, it's an NFT game. Uh, is gathering momentum as it prepares to launch on the XRP ledger. Smart contract platform. Well, I don't know about smart contract platform, but... Uh, it's not right, but Love Monster on Wednesday announced it was partnering with Cleaver Wallet and the Cleaver ecosystem to support its token forthcoming marketplace. Projects the brainchild of London's Liam Love and Sydney's uh, Sadaf Jadrin, and nice. they hope to release the play to earn mobile game at a VIP launch party in Vegas. Why don't they just Vegas come to Miami and do this so Jeff and I can be there to kind of help Vegas. christen it? Vegas, baby, right, Jeff? That's right, it should be come down here. Come to South Florida. Who wants to be way out there in the uh, on the West Coast? Yeah, the hell with Vegas, no man. Vegas is so 2019. I think what separates <laughs> us is that we've got work in utility, Jeff. And we always like to talk about projects that have utility, an NFT that has utility. We've got an incredible CEO and founder, that's Love, who also is the lead artist and he codes and develops everything himself. That's insane, Jeff. It's very nice. That's some major talent. And we've got a great team that we've worked with for over a decade, bringing utility to life already. The game seems a bit similar to Axie Infinity, but it also mm -hmm. involves breeding and battling love monsters and NFTs that can be bought and sold on the blockchain. And look at that, Jeff. I look at those love, love monsters, monsters right there. You know, it could be a little frustrating playing those games, but I haven't really been able to see one that is, you know, has... A combination of everything, you know, good graphics, good gameplay, and easy, uh, e an easy mechanism with the NFT. I've been trying to play Star Atlas, so I'm hoping this one will pull it off a little bit better, utilizing the XRPL, and you know, obviously their own asset on the ledger. But man, it some of it, you're constantly having to buy stuff and move it, and that's the point, little, Jeff. Yeah, but that's okay. where you know being on a, being a Mac guy doesn't really help the ecosystem so much. What I like about is this is they're rolling it out on Android and iOS. They've got breeding capability as well, which is basically how you can earn more love monsters, which I like. Um, I guess it's more of a reward thing. And what people look for is passive income, and that was what we were like. You and I were trying to get to that the other night. We were like, you earn like income, and then you have like we couldn't think of the word passive, Jeff. Passive. I like. The I was word. like, I know there's another word to that. <laughs> passive income. When you're that's what we're involved. trying, and that's what they're attempting to provide. You're locking up two monsters for 30, 60, 90 day period. You'll earn an additional monster, and that's also a way to reward holders in the community. The longer the lockup, the rarer the love monster that's hatches it. for the breeding program. Right. Well, that's the thing. You know, you're locking it up. You're staking it. They're trying to make uh, DeFi. You know, the idea of staking and locking up. They're trying to put it a spin to it with the game. Right. And I just want to go on an exchange. And if I'm going to stake some asset, I just want to stake the asset and be done with it. Yeah, but the whole but the gaming, you're, miss, you know, no, you're missing the point, Jeff. The whole point of it is, is that that's when I go on these exchanges and they go, there's 40,000 APY. And you're <laughs> like, 40,000? No, you just missed it, buddy. It's now 70,000 <laughs> APY. You're like... But it was just 40,000 like two seconds ago. Yeah, but it's not available to you. You see, that's, that's, that's the best. It's, it's never available, Jeff. It's like the whole thing. It's There's an exchange out. out there. There's an exchange out there, <laughs> several out. of them, that they're always sold out. And that's you can right. be ready to pull the trigger like 30, like trigger, trigger, uh, sold out. <laughs> sold out. It's now 100,000 APY. But you missed yeah. it, bud. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, Maybe you next get time. It, you're going to get 5%. <laughs> right? And then so like, you know, the whole idea I like about this is that you got to think about people who are just coming into the space are like, oh, what is this? An NFT? Yeah, OK. But they don't give a crap about NFTs, but they understand, oh, wait a minute, I can get a love monster. Why? Because gaming's already taught them this, right? You get a new skin, you get new weapons, you get new powers, you get new abilities, right? Yeah, this is fight them, man. It's, it's really cool. I like the idea. I yeah, do like I, the idea of, of moving stuff like this. And the idea of locking up two monsters for a 30, 60, or 90 day period, then yep. you earn an additional monster. Now you've got three monsters or four monsters, right? And then there's going to be tournaments and a monster planet metaverse to explore. Ooh, this is getting interesting. Token supply has been black hole, meaning no more can be created. 
Uh, she adds the love monsters are currently selling for 2000 XRP for $1,400, a little bit steep, Jeff, a little bit as part of the launch though, next bit. week, that price <laughs> increases the 3,500 XRP. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm not, I'm not a player in this game. Not going to be happening. Early monsters sold for 333 XRP last year when nobody knew about it, Jeff, they probably were giving them away for free. <laughs> But you just didn't know about it, right? Well, that's another thing I've learned. That's well, that's kind of when you should have been in when it was at the three hundred dollar mark or the three hundred XRP mark. With now, when it's uh, coming to uh, coming to you at thirty five hundred, not as interesting. But man, how about this, well, start moving some of your XRP over there. How about this? I mean, Investors snapping up a U.S. one million dollars worth. What? But the thing I about it that. is, you put a monster in there. You pay fourteen hundred bucks. Let's not lose sight of the vision here. You get fourteen hundred eighty dollars, two thousand XRP roughly. You lock it up for like fifteen hundred. You lock it up for nine days. You get another monster. Boom, fifteen hundred dollars. Mm. Boom. You just got like all right, all right. That extra, changes things. <laughs> just two extra money. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's I think we should it. do it. I think we should do, do it. it. Just to keep tabs. I'm in. So I'm. You know, we're always looking at this idea of NFTs and how can you use the NFTs. How can the NFTs and how does real world uh, enter into the metaverse with the NFTs? So there's this one uh, article that came out and it is, where was it? Focus wire. I don't know, but I was talking about airline loyalty programs and they're trying to figure out how they can fit the NFTs and the metaverse or fit the loyalty airline programs into the metaverse. And some of the things they were talking about were kind of uh, interesting you know, where they're trying to take people kind of off site. Let me see if I can pull this up. Here it is. So airline programs. Now, the one thing that I looked at, I'm looking through this and I'm trying to figure out like world, real world application and real world application. And you could potentially, you know, if you qualify, you know, for your medallion program, you know, and then maybe instead of it just being uh, uh, on your uh, on your phone, Maybe you get a special NFT for it. Say, hey, you qualified for gold, platinum, diamond, whatever it is. And you get some special NFT from Delta, you know, as a, as a reward. But I don't know if that's, you know, what they, you know, kind of what they're talking about. But And then I was trying to kind of drill back and saying, you know, what is what are people really excited about in the real world as I was looking at this? And <laughs> so I'm digging through. I'm like, you know, potential use case for and, and they and here he says one of. One of the favorite activities of AV geeks is logging all their flights. While some keep a manual spreadsheet going, others use apps like My Flight Log. I'm like, hey, you know, there might be people that, that are, are actually doing that and tracking every single flight they've done. I'm sure they're out there. Uh, but other people are just worried about how can they qualify for the next status. And they're, they're worried about, you know, do they have the right credit card or do they accumulate the right number of points so they can get club access? Are they, you know, whatever status, can they hold the status so they can get their, you know, their, their upgrades when they get on the next flight <laughs> or they can have enough miles so they can get a free flight or maybe mm -hmm. you can use your miles and get a hotel stay. And I'm looking at this third thing. Look, the other end, special edition NFTs could be sold that get you an exclusive flight, you know, whether it be a first voyage, retiring aircraft, special destination, exclusive fare class. And I'm looking at this. I'm like, man, this could actually kick up. He really kick, you know, kick in and, and people could really like it, you know, but I'm thinking about maybe there's a way, you know, and here they're even talking about in addition, collecting air miles uh, to reach, uh, let's say they could collect XP. But I'm thinking if you could fly and you can somehow take your, your, uh, your accumulated miles and you tokenize the miles and then you can use that and you can, it becomes an asset, you know, maybe a percentage becomes an asset that's tradable and valuable. And man, that's like real world, you know, because then your miles that you've accumulated aren't just towards getting free travel. You can use them anywhere for anything if it's tokenized. And Interesting. It's value. Maybe, maybe go up in value. Maybe people will trade miles and it gets even more exciting. I'm like, man, that's something I never even really thought about. So I read the article. I'm like, man, flight miles. That's kind of interesting. It should say at collect XRP. Are you down with OTC? Please like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified when the next video drops.